Mmm. Go back. Mmm. Jersey. To be honest with you, I don't care about my home state that much anymore. Given that a little kick. You can take the girl out of the convent, but you can't take the convent out of the girl. That being said, it's a nice place and pork roll is legit. Hey, move it over for the good stuff. Before anybody asks, no, I'm not Italian. But all my friends were growing up, all of them. And every now and again, my inner jersey comes out. This morning, we're gonna be reviewing the Spurgeon Study Bible. The circle light is in the kitchen. Hey, it's gonna be legit. Coffee, plate, yup, make a mess with all of this, with all this goodness. But this is the main course this morning. So who was Charles Haddon Spurgeon? Charles Spurgeon, the Prince of Preachers, English Particular Baptist, never ordained one of the most successful evangelists and revivalists in British history. This study Bible, the Spurgeon Study Bible, was written by several, but its executive editor is Alistair Begg, who I also enjoy. Some of you will know I am not a Calvinist. That does not mean that I don't think that there are not great Calvinist men of God like Alistair Begg and Charles Spurgeon. In the KJV, I just love the pink pages, man. And boom, right there. But God is not dependent on his own creation. He can make light without a son. He can spread the gospel without the aid of ministers. He can convert souls without any human or angelic method. For he does as he wills in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. These are excerpts from his preaching. Here also is a full page for his preparation for a sermon. The wonderful way they honor the man is there's preaching Bibles and then there's study Bibles. Here's a side-by-side -side of the Jack Hayford Spirit-Filled Life and the Spurgeon Study Bible. Look at the difference in print. You might have to get really close to the scripture to see it, and there's lots of notes and cross-references. Here, it's very clean. The print is huge. You can see it just from looking down at it without even just bending down your neck at the pulpit. The Spurgeon has no cross-references and very few study notes. This Bible is about how Spurgeon preached the word. Lost sermons, Spurgeon quotes, concordance. I'm never big on the maps, and that's a shame. Double tassel! <laughs> Spurgeon Study Bible. I preach out of this Bible on live all the time. I love the King James Version. It's also available in the Christian Standard Bible. Go check it out. God bless you all. He said it's rain on the just and the unjust.